Hey friends, I am coming to you makeupless and in my bathroom. Sorry if the audio is a little echoey. I can't really do much about that. But I am here to show you guys um, how I apply my organic toxin-free makeup. Um, I've been on a journey testing out lots of products lately. Um, that say that they're organic or non-toxic using my Yucca app um, that I love to use, especially if you've seen other videos. Um, and just, I'm gonna show you guys the products, the company that I love, do a quick makeup application for you. And then in a future video, I'm going to tell you guys why you shouldn't be using regular over-the-counter makeup um, because of how toxic and dangerous it is to your health, your fertility, your organ function. And so, yeah, let's jump right into it. All right, so I am just getting all my stuff organized here. And I just wanna throw out like a quick note. Sometimes it's really hard to change makeup. Um, as a woman that's been wearing makeup since I was a teenager, there are products that you just really love and it's really hard to give those up and to make changes. Um, and so I completely understand. I would say if you are on a journey to become more non-toxic, chemical-free um, in your lifestyle, please do baby steps because without the baby steps, um, you're just gonna get really overwhelmed, you're gonna spend a lot of money, you might not like some stuff, and so do your research. And so my hope with this video is to help you guys um, with just knowing the, the products well, um, to see if they're for you, to try to prevent you guys from spending unnecessary money. Um, and I've been using uh, the Topes & Co brand of makeup for, years now and I have used other stuff and nothing has been as good as this stuff. And so I'm always going back to the same stuff all the time. All right, so I'm gonna be doing like my whole face of makeup. I will be turning away at times because I don't think I can stare at my, my iPad that I'm filming this on and do it without looking um, into my mirror. So we're gonna do our best. The first thing I like to do is prep my skin. I like to prep my skin with the Topes & Co Flawless Face Primer. Um, I just started using this prior to using this, and I don't even use it every single day, you guys. One pump is all you need. This is pricey, but a little bit goes a long way. Again, one pump, but, and that's what's gonna be great about this video is that I'm also gonna offer some other, other options. I use the Simply Tallow on my face. I love, I use it at night, I use it at day. This also gives me that great dewy look all over my face. Um, I can wear this under my makeup, especially if you have really dry skin. This is gonna be more moisturizing, um, even though this is super moisturizing because the first ingredient in it, obviously besides water, is aloe vera, aloe vera and it's all um, different types of oils too. Another thing I love to use, First thing in the morning, almost first thing in the morning, every single day, if I'm not putting this the moment I wake up, I am putting my Bella Terra, sorry, the bottle's kind of gross, um, sweet almond oil on my skin everywhere. That's what I have on right now. That's why it's so shiny. I rub it all over my neck, put it all over my face. Um, I use the sweet almond oil. And my makeup stays on all day, whether I'm using this, this, um, or using this. And so, so today I have the oil on my face. I'm just gonna be doing one pump of this. And what I have found, um, cause I experiment a lot. I do my one pump and you would put this all over your face and on your neck, rub it in. Sometimes if you want your, um, if you're gonna use liquid foundation, you can put a pump of this. I only use one pump for my whole face and neck. Um, you can put it on top of this, mix it in really good, um, and it'll kind of um, just like make it spread a little farther. Um, I've done that many times. And so today I'm gonna be using the Topes & Co Organics as well as the, I call this Ilia, that's how I pronounce it. Um, so 
I, I'll get into this in just a second, but let's apply the primer. Big circles. Also make sure your hands are clean. Rinse them with water um, or with soap because any bacteria that's on your hands, it's gonna end up on your skin and give you some breakouts. So you don't want that. Okay, so it's in. Next thing we're gonna do is the Topes & Co. Organics. Um, I have a lot of redness to my face. I have rosacea um, a little bit and it's gotten so much better since going carnivore um, and it, it seems to kind of come and go. Um, I use Gulf Sand, that is the color that I use and I would just say it's just like a neutral kind of creamy beige color. Um, I use just one pump of this all over my face. But then um, I kind of got duped with this. This is what happens when you don't use your Yucca app and you just believe the advertising that you see spam to you like on Instagram or on Facebook. Um, Ilya um, has some, some clean products. Um, they advertise that they are clean, um, you know, natural makeup. Not really. Um, this would be, this is the Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. It is a tinted moisturizer and it leaves your face super duper dewy. Um, I've applied just this all over my face and I have a dewy look all day long um, and I like it. It's just, um, it's a little too, I think in the summer it's going to be just too oily or something. But either way, what I've also done is I've taken this and I've taken this, one pump of this, two to three drops of this. And this color is, I think they're numbered. They're not actually S-T-6-O-R-A. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Um, they actually don't have like names to the colors. I've done three drops of this, two to three drops of this with one pump of this all over my face. That's what I'm gonna be using today. But Ilya is not that clean. When you use the Yucca app, and because this was makeup, good quality makeup is just pricey. I got it at Sephora, and I should have known buying anything from Sephora, it's not going to be very clean. But I was excited that I was being spammed um, <laughs> some clean makeup, and uh, I bought it, and I shouldn't have, and I won't be buying it again because it has here the super serum it has a poor rating of 46 out of 100 it has zinc oxide titanium oxide um, in it and for me personally 46 out of 100 may be fine for you um, again we're all on our own journey but i try to put any product soap whatever shampoo on my body that is like 75 or higher. That is like my personal um, preference. So again, make baby steps. If you're using a product that scans a zero out of 100 and you decide to go this route because it's similar to what you were using and it's now a 46 out of 100, good for you. I'm not gonna judge. So here we go. The Topes & Co. Organics um, Golf Sand Liquid Foundation one pump, super creamy, beautiful. Um, and what I like about using just two or three drops of this, you gotta shake it really good, is um, again, it just kinda makes it a little, even more moisturizing and it just spreads a little farther without doing an extra pump. And I like to just mix it right here on my palm. It's not my palm, top of my hand. So that's what we got here. Um, the Topes & Co. has no fragrance in it, which is great, um, but this Ilia has kind of a smell to it. Um, I personally don't love the smell, but I mean, it's not horrible. Um, so again, I use the little uh, blending sponge. Keynote, if you never used a blending sponge, I never did until, I don't know, a couple years ago. You get it wet. Didn't know that. I would use it dry and it would soak in all my makeup and it would be a pain in my butt. So you get it wet squeeze it out and it's damp and we're just gonna dab this on i don't like to now that i'm 35 i'm getting fine lines under my eyes uh crow's feet from all my smiling 
Um, I don't like to actually rub the foundation underneath my eyes because then all that foundation is settling in the cracks. And I just dab until it's all blended in. Only my neck do I kind of rub it. And it is January when I'm filming this. And in the winter, it doesn't matter how much oils, how much tallow I put on my face. My skin is so dry, especially um, in this area and right around my eyebrow area. It's always so flaky. Um, doesn't matter how much I exfoliate. It's been like that my whole life. I get it from my mother. And um, the Topes & Co. has just been so great with keeping my skin moisturized and not flaky looking. So there's my foundation, guys, and it's still nice and dewy. All right, the next thing that I do is I put my eyebrows on. Pro tip for you guys, especially if you are a mother of children, girls more specifically. Please, as also, a f I used to be a professional hairstylist for 10 years. I still do hair. I'm just not in the salon anymore. Please get your daughter's eyebrows waxed professionally the very first time. And if you want to just maintain with some tweezers at home, please do that. Growing up, my mother never got her eyebrows done professionally, and that's fine. But my mother had 90s pencil-thin eyebrows. As a young girl, I thought my eyebrows had to look the same as my mom's, and I didn't even know people went to the salon to get waxed. And so I took my mom's um, tweezers and I tweezed out all of my eyebrows. I was in the fifth grade, I let them grow in a little bit, and then I kept doing it in the sixth grade. I mean, I had no eyebrows. Like, they were literally this short. I obviously tweezed out all the fronts here. Um, I just have, like, these little hairs on the end. And so, I don't believe in regrets. Like, the mistakes that you make in life make you who you are <laughs> as an adult. But this is so annoying that I have to, or choose to, pencil in my eyebrows because I hate how thin they are and the shape that they are. Also, another thing, sorry, I know I'm ranting, but I bet you didn't know this. If you start professionally waxing your child's eyebrows, starting at about the age 12, and you do it every single month, or very consistently, however it works, every four to six weeks, whatever, and you get them waxed or you tweeze them to keep their shape consistently until they are the age of 18, you will kill the hair follicle and you will not have to wax or barely tweeze at all um, again for the rest of your life because of the hormone changes going through your child's body. Um, when you start actually pulling the hair out from the bulb, you're damaging the hair follicle. It keeps growing back in finer and finer and finer until eventually the hair follicle will die. And so because I started tweezing out my eyebrows in the fifth and sixth grade when I was about 12 years old and I did it all the way through high school, um, I do not at all wax or tweeze ever. This is just what my eyebrows look like all the time um, because I killed my hair follicles. So, you guys, please think about that. Don't let your kids steal tweezers and hide and think that they have to look a certain way. Keep that line of communication open. So, I'm going to pencil in. Um, I have not found an eyebrow pencil. I've not used the Topes & Co. eyebrow pencil yet because, honestly, like anybody, I've been using the Maybelline Express Brown, like the thinnest. I like like the super thin, like the super thin um, pencil forever. And this is my favorite. When I go to the store and I finally find my color, comes in many colors, I like buy out the whole store because I never want them to discontinue it and then I'm gonna be SOL. <laughs> and so um, I'm gonna put in my eyebrows and we'll be back. All right, so I'm gonna show you the difference when I pencil in my eyebrow versus the one that's not penciled in. 
huge difference. I have not softened this color yet. It's, you know, really precise and really bold. I like to soften it up with um, a blush brush. So this is why you need to start it off well when you're young. All right, eyebrows are done. They're just not softened yet. I can soften them with that side. Um, I like to do it with a powder brush first. But next up on my regimen is cheeks. And right now, you know what? The label, it rubbed off. I wonder if I have the box. Um, Luxury by Sophia. Um, this is an these are certified organic ingredients. I found this on Amazon when I was just searching organic bronzers. Um, again, you guys do your research. And so this was way cheaper than getting the Topes & Co um, bronzer. And this one is in Bahama Glow. And because I have rosacea on my cheeks and acne scars that I'm healing, um, I naturally just have a rosiness to my cheeks anyway, and so I'm not always looking to put more redness on it. So this is the Bahama Glow. I've been using it for a while. Um, I use it all year long, not just in the summer. It's pretty clean. There's some unclean things, but again, we're just trying to improve from just buying like your um, your red your regular like Maybelline in the store. All right, so I'm going to be putting on my bronzer, but another product that I use and really, really like often is to use the, again, this was the first product I ever used from Ilia, um, and this is way cleaner than, um, than like the foundation or the tinted moisturizer. And so this had an, a decent um, rating on the Yucca app. I'm gonna pull it up for you guys. It's not 75, but it's 69 out of 100. Um, and I was looking for something, I was using something before that had a zero rating. And so we're moving up in the world. But I started with this Cosmic Dancer, which is literally just, I always, no matter what, I always put it right here on the tops of my cheekbones to just keep giving that dewy glow. And then I just got this one called In The Mood. I don't know if you can see that, but um, this one's more of like your traditional blush. Um, the way they advertise it is obviously a blush stick. People put it on their lips. I wouldn't do that. You don't want to ingest it. Um, or uh, yeah, so wherever you want to put it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use the Cosmic Dancer for just more dewy look up here. And I'm going to use my... Um, my Luxury by Sophia bronzer. Before I do that, I like to soften my eyebrows by just pulling out my blush brush and just kind of going over it softly to kind of just blend them so they're not so harsh. And I like to go right under the cheekbone, um, you know, to kind of shadow this area, kind of where my rosacea already is. I am not a fan of putting it all the way up here. But again, you do you, no judgment. I have to go under my nose, give a little shadow, always under my chin, darken that jawline, blend it down my neck of hair. Um, and then sometimes I'll go around the top of my hairline for just more uh, contouring without making my face look super contoured. I am not a fan. I'm all about less is more. I already put a ton of makeup, in my opinion, on my face and spend a decent amount of time on it every day. The last thing I want to do is to add like more streaks everywhere and to make people think my face doesn't, that my face looks just completely different than what it is. When I take off my makeup, obviously my eyebrows are shocking, but I don't want my face to look totally different when I'm done, you know, putting my makeup on. So again, I'm going to take my illuminator. I like to put it up here. And I usually take my middle fingers and I just do gentle circles onto the apples of my cheeks. I kind of dab it. Mm. So you'll see a little shimmer there if the lighting's okay. Um, 
And so, you know, I usually, because again, my rosacea, I'm not putting stuff like on the apples of my cheeks because they're always pink anyway. Um, so next up, I like to do some eyeshadow. I will do, I love the Topes & Co um, Natural Eye Makeup Palette. So I've had this for a really long time. These colors last forever, um, which is great. So when you order their natural palette, they'll give you the case and then they give you, give you the individual uh, shadows. They come in two colors. I thought I ordered the other one not too long ago, but I accidentally selected the same one. So they have two different versions of this. This one is um, Bark, is, the nap, uh, is their darkest color, Bark. Their like medium shade is Iced Mocha. This one's a little shimmery, kind of has like a little metallic shimmer to it. And then their lightest color, which is great. It's super, it's true to its name, it's Flesh. Um, I really am liking these yeah, other colors as well, which is great, but I will apply all three colors for you guys so you can see how they look in person. I like to put the darkest on my lid down here. So this is the darkest color. I feel very comfortable using these colors during the day, but you can also wear them in the evening. So this is the bark, the darkest color. And then in the crease, I'm gonna do the iced mocha. And this is what the ice mocha looks like. And then on the top, and I'll blend it into the side a little bit, I will use the flesh. And for myself, I like to take the flesh from the corner of my eye all the way up through the crease and down to the side. So that's the flesh on the top and the all three colors. What I really like doing as well, if I'm not feeling like putting the dark um, on my lid, is I'll just use the ice mocha and the flesh, and it's, it's really beautiful. All right, so we're on to mascara. I have two here. The one that I've been using literally since I was a teenager and I love, and then the Topes & Co mascara. Again, you guys, baby steps in your makeup journey because it can be really shocking when you're trying to switch things up. So I bought the Topes & Co because this, even though this one says clean, right? The, the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean, um, it's really not clean. It has a terrible rating on Yucca. Um, and then the Topes & Co, I bought it. Um, it was expensive. I bought it when there was a sale. I don't love it. It does the job. But, um, I feel that it flakes and, you know, throughout the day I'll look and I'll have little black kind of flakes. I don't like that. Um, and so I haven't been using this. The reviews online are excellent, especially if you have really high, um, allergy sensitivity to mascaras, this may be awesome for you. Um, so in comparison, I mean, it's, it's small. And this is just the black. I think they have brown and I think they have black. And, um, you know, it's that. I'm just kind of hanging on to it. I'm not going to throw it away. Maybe, I don't know how long it'll last, but, um, you know, maybe I'll let my girls use it for like a dance show or a holiday or something. Um, but I just didn't love that it flaked and I tried it several times and it does flake. Not like crazy, but enough to annoy me. And so I've discontinued use and I've just continued to use the CoverGirl Lash Blast. I just switched to the clean brand because maybe that makes me feel better, though I know it's not clean. Um, I just, this is predictable. I don't use waterproof because waterproof mascara makes my eyelashes fall out. Um, and when you're taking it off, even with eye makeup remover, it's just really harsh on your eyelashes. And again, it can make your eyelashes fall out or break and they're really short. So my personal opinion, don't use waterproof mascara if you really don't have to. Okay, so we have mascara on and sometimes I'll just leave it like this. Um, and then other days I will add some eyeliner. I just like a dark brown, I don't like black. Um, I feel like young teenagers wear black and I'm older now and I just like a softer color. It also makes the green in my eyes stand out a lot more. 
Um, I'm not using anything special, you guys. Um, this is just called hot chocolate. Um, I don't know, it was just a soft, cold, just cheap um, at the drugstore. I've been meaning to try the Topes & Co eyeliner. I just haven't gotten around it yet. And so I'm just gonna do some brown at the bottom. No, I like to do the inside rim of my eye. I never do like the lash line. Um, I just personally don't like how it looks. It took me months as a teenager to master not having my eyes water and blink a million times in order to do the inside rim. But once you get used to it, super easy. All right, so we have the eyeliner on. And then lastly, guys, it's always the lips. So I have lots of options here. Um, you can just use lip balm. I love the tallow um, lip balm from Topes & Co. It's awesome. This is the herbal mint. You can just chapstick it, right? That's always an easy go-to. The next one um, that I do love, if I want more of a red tint, is the Topes & Co. Tinted Lip Balm. It's really thin. It is all natural. It is um, colored with mica, and that's what gives it like this reddish color. It only comes in one shade, because mica is just one shade. So just to give you perspective of the tint, I'll only do my, my bottom lip. So hopefully you can see the difference. So the bottom one is a lot redder than the top one. So if you like just more tinted lip balm, this is a really good one. Um, and then I like lip gloss. And so I have two here that I really, really love plus a bargain, okay? So um, my girls, because I'm not buying Topes & Co for my little girls, but sometimes they do like to put on lip gloss for a holiday or something. Um, the Burt's Bees 100% Natural um, Lip Gloss has a 90 out of 100 rating on Yucca. So I really like this Sunny Day color. It, it's, it has like metallic gold in it and it's a really natural pink shade. Really like this one. Um, but then with Topes & Co, I've had um, No Way Rose. Sorry, it's not going to hear me see that. This is called No Way Rose. This is um, kind of like a deeper mauve color that I actually really like. If you're wanting more of like a natural color to your lips, but you want it to be a little bit deeper, this one is really good. So I'll put this one on the bottom. It has a great smell. And this is more of a satin. It's not matte. I don't like matte lips. It's not high gloss. So it's pretty natural, just a little darker. And then I just got this one. I thought it was gonna be more pink, but it's actually more flesh color. And this one is called Jealous Much with a question mark. So Jealous Much. And I'll put this one on the top so you can see I've mixed these two together before and they're really cute but the Jealous Much takes all the pink out of your lips. I don't know if you can tell. Sorry, I'm looking up my nose, right? <laughs> so anyway, mix them both together. It makes a really great um, neutral pink. So we have No Way Rose, more of like that mauve-y, um, deeper mauve-y, but natural. And then Jealous Much, which is really like a, a fleshy color that's gonna be more nude if you're wanting more of a your lips to disappear on you. All right, friends, we are officially done with full face of makeup, um, thinking about organic, non-toxic makeup as much as possible, being that most women wear makeup on their face every single day. So everything that I used, I will link below for you. I do have an affiliate link. Um, at the bottom of this video that you could use if you want to. Otherwise, I'll just throw some links in there to help you out. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to ask. Go ahead and put that in the comments below. Hit a thumbs up if you found value in this video, and I wish you blessings on your journey of health and simplicity, you guys. Bye-bye.